In this video I will show you how to install the best print driver for your Xerox machine on Windows 11. Start by typing in Google the model of your machine followed by the word drivers. It should pull up the link to the driver webpage. Look for the global print driver and select I agree to the terms and conditions and download. Then you will see Postscript and PCL6 as two options. I recommend the Postscript, however, both work well. Select I agree to the terms and conditions and then download the files. We will come back to these downloaded files later. Now, we need to start the print driver download. Start by selecting the Windows key and then R on your computer. It will pull up a run box. Type in the run box control printers and then select OK. Now you should see the printers and scanners in our Windows settings. At the top select add device and then wait about 5 to 10 seconds. Then you should see an option to add manually. Select the last option and click next. Then create a port, standard TCP IP port, then click next. Type in the IP address into the first line. If you don't know what your IP address is, please refer to my videos on my channel showing you how to. Deselect the query the printer button and then select next. Now we will need to go back to those files we downloaded at the beginning of the video. Open the files and then you should see an option to extract all at the top. After you select extract all, select extract on the prompt. Now it will extract the files and open up the new location. You should see two file folders. Select the file folder with the longer name at the top. Now that you have the longer name folder opened, all that is needed to do is to copy the path at the top. When you click the top bar, the text should highlight blue. Then right click and select copy or use control, greater than C on your keyboard. Now go back to our printer installation. Now that we have the path copied, select have disk, delete all the characters in the line, and then paste the path in the line. Once pasted select OK and then you should see an option to download the global print driver. Select global print driver and hit next. Now you can name your printer whatever you would like. Once you are finished naming the printer select next. In a minute or two, you should see your new printer in the printer and scanners list. I would recommend changing the print driver defaults to the most ideal settings. Check out my video on my channel for a detailed explanation on that. Thank you.